Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet flip-flop socks. So let's get started. To make these flip-flop socks, you can use any size yarn and any size hook that you would like. And you're going to start with a foundation chain that will wrap around the ball of the foot. Like that and it should wrap around the ball of the foot. And then you're going to slip stitch to join, being careful not to twist the chain. And then you're going to chain two, and that takes the place of the first double crochet. And now you're just going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. To make a double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops, pick up the yarn, pull it through two loops. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I've double crocheted in each stitch around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join in the top of the chain two. And that's going to fit here across the foot. Okay, now I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to alternate front post double crochet and then a double crochet all the way around. So to make my front post double crochet, yarn around the hook insert behind the post of the double crochet and then complete my double crochet and then just double crochet as usual in the next stitch so double crochet front post complete the double crochet and double crochet in the next stitch okay so repeat all the way around Okay, I worked all the way around. At the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off. So now in this fasten off stitch, I'm going to attach a new color. But you could go ahead and keep continue to work in the same color. So now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. So single crochet to single crochet, insert the hook into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through pick up the yarn, pull it through both loops. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work all the way around making one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join in the first single crochet. Chain one and turn. And now every row will be exactly the same until you get to the heel section. And that is chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work right up to the heel and then I'll come back and show you how to work the rest of the sock. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked seven rows and that will fit like that. So now I'm going to start and I'm going to do the heel section. So to do the heel, I've connected my yarn and I'm going to work three quarters of the way around. I had 24 stitches, so four into 24 is six times three is 18. So I'm going to single crochet in 18 stitches. So that one was one, two, three, four. So then you can try it on and see if the heel comes up as high as you would like it on the sides. And if not, you can do less stitches or more stitches until you have the heel approximately halfway up like that. Okay, I've gone ahead and completed as many rows as I think I need. So I'm going to check and see. And so that is going to reach to the back of the heel. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join. And I'm going to fasten off. And when I'm finished the sock, I'll thread the yarn end into a needle and sew the back heel closed. So now I'm going to come back here and I left that yarn attached. So I'm just going to pull the yarn through and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet all the way around the opening and then slip stitch to join. So I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet all the way around that all the way back to here. Okay, I worked all the way around and I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to slip stitch to join. And then I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around and at the end of the row I'll slip stitch to join in that stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to single crochet all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to join, chain one and turn, 
and I'm going to do that until I have worked probably an inch and a half for the leg section. Okay, I've worked a few rows, and I'm just going to make these as short socks. So I'm going to stop here, and I'm just going to do one row of double crochet all the way around. I've attached my blue, and that's equivalent to a double crochet. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So like that, double crochet all the way around. At the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Okay, I worked all the way around and I slip stitch to join and now I can fasten off. So now with the needle, I can weave in all my yarn in and sew down the back of the heel. So I'll just sew up the heel. Like that. And that's it. The flip-flop socks are finished. And there you go. Flip-flop socks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.